Hello traders and welcome to tradingwithbill.com. I'm Bill. We're in Thailand and it's a beautiful sunny day early in the morning just before 8 a.m. and uh, really nice. And we're going to talk a little bit about Forex and whatever else we can talk about today. Welcome to data today. Guess what? There is none. <laughs> no data today. It's like really, really bad as far as data goes. It's going to be a technical trading day on a Monday. Um, the dollar index continues to dump. <laughs> the dollar is just like losing it. Um, what else can I tell you? So let's take a look at what's going on. Um, S&P futures is currently up 0.11%. NASDAQ futures is up 0.21%. With the Dow 30 up 0.85%. Small cap 2000 up 0.36%. S&P 500 VIX is negative 4.32%. US dollar index sits at 88.87. Ouch. <laughs> For those of you who do Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin futures is currently up 7.72%. Let's see what's going on with oil and gold today. Gold uh, is up a little, well, it's, it's negative 0.20%, sitting at $1,349.50. Uh, crude WTI is at 66.34. And Brent oil is currently at $70.15. And what just flew in my eye? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what's going on there. We'll take a look at these uh, news events. Actually, there's really only one news event, um, two, two news events today, and that is core PCE price index out of the U.S. And we have um, personal spending month on month for December out of the U.S. Basically, my friends, that is it. We got some ECB people talking, uh, low impact. Uh, we've got uh, Spanish retail sales year on year. That is not going to do anything for us today. So let's uh, jump over to the charts and uh, see what's wow. happening. See what's happening there. Um, so here's our charts. This is the euro. You know, really, you know, 30 minute chart. Really, nothing here, right? This is just really just sideways. Nothing's going on here. There's nothing. Nothing to do here, folks. Um, if we're gonna do anything, you know, we're gonna have to do something like this, right? Wait till we can get up to this level here, and then, you know, we can sell it here, right? So at the 2519 area, you can do a sell. Um, the problem is you're coming into that double zero, right? You're coming into 2500, which of course, you can possibly get a bounce. So really, wouldn't even mind it going up to like 25.20 or 25.30, somewhere up there. So at least when you get to that double zero, you break even, and if it bounces you out, it's, you know, you're not gonna lose anything. So I don't like this at all, to be honest with you. I don't like this at all. The other thing we can do is we can wait for this and look at the other side, and we'll just do something like this, and we'll just um, put a trend line here, right? Whoa, easy there, Jackson. Come on, folks. That's not what I wanted either. What just happened to my charts? Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. So we can put a trend line here. You know, something like this. Right? And we can wait for that to break below there with a retest and then sell it from there. So that's another option. Now, the advantage of that setup is that if we get the break of the trend line, we get a retest, this is a wide open space. There's really nothing left of the chart immediately. You don't have to worry about anything until 2290. So it's a pretty nice trade if we can get it to work, right? So you get in there at 2380, somewhere in there, um, get out about 70, 80 pips later. Like I said, it's gotta break the trend line, it's gonna give us a retest, and then we can sell that from that area. That sounds to me like a better um, trade than waiting for it to get up to 2530 or 2540 and then taking it down. I don't think that's gonna happen, by the way. I don't think this is gonna go up. I think this is just gonna continue to sink. All righty. All right, let's take a look at the um, Great British Pound. Let's see what's going on there. Again, you know, we're in the same situation here. It is, a break is really the, the trick here of this level right and right, if we can get a break of that level right there and 
then then we can sell this down here, right? But you know, now you got issues here, you got issues here, you know, just doesn't look good to me at all. This doesn't look good to me at all. Um, my vote, nah. Stay away from that one. <laughs> just nothing, you know. It's a Monday, folks. It's a Monday. It looks like it's going to be pretty uh, boring. Hopefully not. You know, weekends are great, but like I'm, I'm ready to like get back to trading. Wow, this is a uh, euro yen. So. This must have, I was not in New York on Friday. I was not in the New York session on Friday. Um, so this looks like a, this must have been a news event that I did not see. So we're just going to, this is just going to be a fib here, right? We're just going to fib this two to the right, two to the left. Bang, bang, bang. And maybe we can get it to 38.2. Nah, this is going to be tough. Um, yeah, uh, 618, right? 618. And we can, 618, and we'll take it to the downside, okay? So 135.70, and we'll take it to the downside. Um, other than that, which, this is just going to be a wait. There's nothing to do here. I'm sure I'm not going to sell it from here, right? We're going to sell right into support again. It, and it, apparently this was a news event, and... There's nothing here that tells me I want to do anything until this pulls back up to that 618. The, the 786 is even better, but the 618 is okay, and we can sell that. And um, But again, you're coming right back into support again, right? You know, that 786 is really appetizing, right? This is really appetizing up here to take it here to the downside. You know, at least you got some open space here, and you, you know you got some room to get break even, right? That's the key, capital preservation, right? You know, we're all gonna take some losses, but man, we don't want to take big ones. Right? You don't want to take big losses; just take little losses, and that's that's what we want to do there. Yeah, not a lot happening, my friends. Let's take a look at the Aussie. This doesn't look bad. Um, hmm. I don't know, wait for this to get down here. Or we'll pull back up to there. You know, maybe you can take a shot at 81, uh, 80, 90. That's probably a better idea. Like the 80, 90 area. And, and uh, because, you know, again, with that 8,100 double zeros, you know, it's gonna, it possibly can bounce there. No data, nothing to move this in either direction. So if we're gonna take it short, that's what I would think we need to do. If you're bullish, um, I would just fib this if you're bullish, right? If you're bullish on this pair, right? Just fib this. And at that 50%, take it to the upside, right? Something like this, right? That's pretty significant level right there. Even then, you know the three eight two is the three eight two is even better to the upside. Um, but either way, um, I, I I like it, but my bias is bearish on the Aussie dollar, and I think it's gonna end up being sideways today just because there's no data, there's nothing coming out, there's nothing to move this pair. So I, I'm not rushing into any of these, my friends. I'm not rushing into any of them. Just wait. You know, there's definitely nothing in Asia. You know, I'd wait for London open, maybe an hour, two hours into London and see what happens in the markets. Other than that, looks like we might be on the sidelines today watching. Look, that's what it looks like to me. All right, let's take a look as we do every day. Yeah, the dreaded, the only, and the, the craziness of the, of the U.S. dollar index. It is just uh, hanging down here, not doing much of anything. You know, we need to get this back up, right? We need to get this above 90, 91, 92. Right, we need the dot we need to get the dollar strong again so that's what it is really hasn't done much since we spoke on uh thursday right and so there's not a lot not a lot to do with these dollar pairs just be careful and uh watch your data watch your data coming out and there is none today so like i said it's probably gonna be a slow day and a technical trading day which i like by the way i don't like the slow 
but I like the technicals. All right, traders, thanks for being with me. Tradingwithbill.com. We'll see you tomorrow morning in Asia. Always remember to trade smart and not hard. See you tomorrow morning, my friends. Take care now. Bye-bye.